Greetings everyone, hello and welcome to Transport Fever 2, with me Get Out. This is episode 55 of the United States of America Hard Mode playthrough and you can find a link for the playlist in the description of the video. In this episode we are going to continue with the task from the previous one, making sure every product goes to city. But before we start, let me show you the final, and I promise, the final changes I did to the infrastructure. With a little bit of a note, I did record a lot of the thing of deliveries I wanted to show you, but unfortunately I was experiencing severe game crashes and other problems with the recordings. all the deliveries myself so um yeah they're done i will just show you uh what i did in the end okay so we have pittsburgh here pittsburgh now has suppliers for all the products because we have here a commercial and an industrial job okay we have the deliveries by Boxcar from ACDC. Yeah, that's one of the things that I decided to do here. And the reason is that I didn't want to deliver it from ACDC by train. It's super short, doesn't make sense. And I also didn't want to build connections here with the road. I just didn't. Um, so I decided to connect it to ACDC. Why not? On top of everything, ACDC is becoming a distribution hub and delivery hub for more cities than that is SEDC, so why not we do this instead? Uh, it's a much longer route, so the train will have time to accelerate and it's going to make more sense. Oh wow. Okay. Maybe we have to do We can do a bridge or a tunnel or something of the sorts for everyone who wants to go. traffic here i think that's going to solve everything right? i mean other than this but yeah i only have passenger lines here and here i have many more many okay let's quickly do this i just saw it so before let's fix this all right all right and now i think i can can I delete this? I think I can. This, please push it forward. Yes. Problem. And we are fully optimized now. Oh no, connections. Great, great stuff, great stuff. I like it. That's that. Oh, did I fuck up the train? Looks fine. Only this guy's fucked. Okay. I, maybe that's going to solve the problem for it. It's going to make a turn somewhere. Oh, oh. Poor guys. Now everybody has to make a turn. That's fine. Okay, I actually should have probably put it somewhere around, like not going here, but going here and then go down and make it a little bit shorter, but it is what it is. Now they are very, very fast. Look at that. Look at that boy. 160. 160. Tunnel. With 160. Still going very fast. One fifty-eight, slow down a little bit, and simply joining. There we go. That's how you optimize cargo traffic, and it's going to slow down just before the station. Very fast, very efficient, much money, very well. Come on, come on, show me the money. Show me the money. Boom, money. Okay. 
great stuff all of these guys unfortunately didn't take the connection on time so they will have to go back and this problem is solved good stuff now uh nashville nashville is uh, fixed very very fixed we have this connection here a different type of connection now um, we have an x junction because we have incoming traffic from the right and from the left the ones from the left are like usually resources uh, i think the lungs come from there or something i don't know i already forgot but we have a bunch of stuff coming from here and we have a bunch of stuff coming from here from atlanta we also have different exits here so we have one exit for everyone who is going back to the mid-country over there uh, for the guys that are on that side of the station they make the circle and they leave through there and then we have i think it was for denver oh no uh yeah because i later to the other side so this is useless now but i put that here for the denver trains well maybe for something else in the future if i decide to move it again and the exits for everyone who is going back to SCDC or back to Atlanta is here. And there we go. And we have very, very smooth connections now. This guy is not very fast, but fortunately no traffic is... Ah, uh, no, this one is going to be stopped. Well, it is what it is. It's inevitable sometimes. Oh. Yeah, that, that's inevitable. Like when when trains just connect like that, um, they will slow each other down. Almost stopped again here. All right, that is for national. Many changes here. Let's see what else do we have that is interesting. Um, Charlotte. Charlotte is a very interesting subject as well because I decided in the end to deliver everything by ship so i improved station of course i have the deliveries over here and we have the food cargo delivery so this is uh, delivering the food back there and bringing the cargo back from the port over here we are delivering everything with the ships here uh, everything everything not the fuel because the fuel we are getting directly from the refinery and Charlotte has not suppliers of oil. Hmm, I guess I didn't do that, maybe. Let's see. First of all, this is cargo and food supply. So let's do that. And here... Aha! This is the problem. So here we are loading and unloading. But here we are... Ah, we are loading everything. But we don't get any fuel for some reason. Maybe the deliveries are not delivering it. Uh, there you go, you see. I forgot to add trucks. Uh, from here. By the way, I am using this awesome echo truck for everything, as you already know from the previous. Um, and now we are going to get suppliers of fuel, maybe? Come on, come on. Let's see it. Not yet. Did I fix the drop manage line? Take all the industry products. Yes. No fuel yet though. Interesting. Maybe still problems here. Loading the port. And load here. So that part is alright. Still no fuel supply. Oh, oh, oh. You see, that's the problem. We just need a connection. Like that. And now we are going to get some oil. Yep. Savannah fuel refinery. There we go. Everything else. Goods, machines and food we are supplying. So that's great. Uh, let me just quickly check the commercial drop. So the commercial drop does have things set up properly. I think I'm going to sell one of them and replace this one with a modern truck. 
and it should go up to 100 which is fine all right and just just one tiny little check yep everything is good here all right so that's for charlotte let's see new york new york also experienced some changes and that's primarily that i am now using the antonovs to bring me the steel here but also everything else related to new york and that's why we are lowering deliveries now um yeah it's unfortunate i guess i thought that we are going to have more right here it was much higher before we shall see we shall see i think it's going to increase so yeah everything comes here by plane we don't have any rail deliveries now to new york and this is bringing the steel over here and all the goods from the other port as well this might need more ships to be honest it is very possible that we need that ah also we have this station here that brings all the things from the airport to the main station with this little station for drop-offs over here and that's it i guess i'm pretty sure this is going to increase because i see it's like 140 180 220 and we just need to deliver them speaking of that maybe here we have plenty of stuff no it's completely empty you see yep so the Antonovs are definitely doing their job i can tell you that much okay um another little little change oklahoma city grain deliveries what about the current deliveries here i don't know no 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 it was not here it was here in kansas yep so this line here has the tunnel with a little bit faster speed so i expanded the radius and also we are not connecting to the main line anymore because there is no need to block all the fast traffic coming from there we have our own connection here we are going to join all the traffic from there but then we are going to exit through here like that and that's it pretty much we have the grain supply here that's the line as you can see and the other thing that we have is the boxcar delivery so we don't even need that connection going back okay uh and as you can see there it is that's the fast traffic that i spoke about this is at 180 kilometers already oh 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 okay we definitely do not appreciate this trucks no wait upgrade oh what i hate when this happens what's the problem here okay we will have to solve that construction not possible what the hell is going on here hmm. all of these guys are joining there we can give them a tunnel yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Maybe that's the problem why we cannot. I still cannot. There is something very wrong with this. Uh, Bodos. Construction not possible. Can I override it or something? Re construction replacing existing construction not possible. What if we do this? nothing is possible here <laughs> okay extremely weird stuff can we get tunnel here let's connect somewhere around uh, here let's say can you give it to me on your own Come on, come on, just go down. No. Nope, nope, nope. It doesn't wanna. Uh, can we do this even earlier? We can get our own path here. 
can stay down low 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 uh, as low as possible no I, i'm not low enough i guess well unless i started even earlier right we can start it around here make a tiny come on Okay, let's do you know what? Let's let's do 120. 10, 20. Yeah, but then then I will not be able to connect. 120 is that much. I have to start it much much earlier. Let's say from here. We're going to do 120 like this. And then hope, hope, hope that this one is going to be... No, 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 stay down. Uh, what if I go under the factory? Can we do that? Why? We are not low enough or what? So we start even earlier then. No, I think that's a good start. I just have to keep it low. Okay, that's not low enough for you. I don't know what it's going to be. Okay, we're going down. Up to here. That's not going to look weird, right? No. And I still cannot go under the factory. I don't understand game. What the hell? We have done this before. Still, I'm so low, but somehow, no. It's not possible. Hmm. Okay. Then we are not doing this. We are going to make the turn. Can I just... Can I have a, a truck from somewhere around here? Something like that. Okay, that's good enough. That goes something like here. Okay, and now I want to connect as fast as possible. Yeah, that's one. Let's do 120. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that looks like something like this. Okay, so we do a little bit more. 20. Yeah, it's going to be much earlier. And we connect... 60... 120. There it is. There is our connection. And from here... Okay, I guess... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's come around here. How is this tunnel? Uh, not bad, actually. Looking nice. I think... Oh. I see why we're having this situation. 120. Oh my... Sometimes, you are terrible. You can be very, very terrible. One... Hundred... And... 
TXT. And the connection looks fine now. Yep, now. And there we go. One more optimization here. Uh, the signals, the signals. Oh, really? Please tell me that you will connect properly now. Yes, you are. Stuff. Yeah, we just need signals. Give it to me, yes. Up to the end. I love it. And everyone is going through here. Amazing. Good stuff. Okay, we didn't fuck up something of these guys, right? I don't think so. Oh, maybe these guys. They are going forward now and making their turn there. Yeah, I know why. And we can see it's fixed that. We are just going to have the old connection here. Or, or, make fast connection from this tunnel. Well, as fast as it's possible, of course. 160, what is it? 160. 150. 20. 149 150 Oh, very ugly connection. Oh, oh, oh. This one doesn't look that bad, I guess. Process this signal, but we can always change that. By adding it here. When having I did not delete it, apparently. There we go. And now this line is fixed. Great. I just don't need this double line here. Mm. It would be weird to select. But there is a vehicle on the way? What vehicle is there? Yeah, that would be very, very, very weird. Can I... <laughs> do this? And call it... X. Okay. That's it. That's it for here. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Uh, Boseman Fuel. Yes, yes, yes. So, I also realized something. I had this connection built here, if you remember. And I could use it for the fuel. Connect to this already existing line. And take a lot of traffic from already congested Northeast Distribution Center. Because it was passing through here to go all the way there. So now it's instead passing through here. Let me show you. There we go. And we are using more this free line uh, rail, free rails there. And it's going back through there. I can also force it, I think, to go through the other side, but it doesn't have to. Ah, also, it needs to go because it goes to the NEDC. Of course, of course, I cannot do that. It's stupid. Um, and that's it. Yep, that's it. Now, we need to do a few more things. Um, like Kansas. Okay, here we are. We start with adding our food plant. I want to make it look reasonable, if not extremely pretty. It's unfortunate that we have some level difference here inside of the city but we can quickly adjust the streets 
Okay, we have coverage. Here, of course, let's make this station better by using the mod. Adding the new farm, increasing the capacity of the line. And I will do that two more times. And upgrading the road because with these new trucks, uh, they can reach higher speeds, 100 kilometers. So we want them to show us their true potential for speed. Also increasing here the size of this station looks better. I'm pretty sure it's going to be necessary as well. Now that we have doubled the amount of grain that is going to be delivered. A few adjustments here on this station because I didn't quite like how things are looking. The last farm here right next to the rail station. And also why not we just fill the whole station with cargo capacity and making the surroundings more like it. And here I need 1400, which is 800 plus 600 that we already had. Oh, but now I realize something. I should have added so one more farm i think if i'm going to do what i was planning to do yes i should remember to do it because right now we have six times 200 1200 grain and we need to add one more farm probably next to the station here we are increasing the capacity of the food delivery as well Right, letting the game play out and we can see that things are already working as intended. Next step, increasing our root oil production and following that, our fuel production. Turns out our cities have grown and we have more demand so we can very quickly increase here the capacity of everything. Having a little bit more is preferable. We will have four oil wells here, each of them with 400 production. That makes it 1600. So that's why you saw me increasing the capacity of the line there. Trying to make it reasonable here. It never works the first time. And now we have our two new wells. Let's also smooth things out around them so that it's not as intense. It's looking very good. Now next step, all this way to the station next to the a refinery, the oil refinery. We need to add a second one, of course. And here, also increase the capacity of the ships. It's pretty cool that just adding one more makes it happen. And as you can imagine, for the second oil refinery, I will need a second fuel refinery. Also, let's make sure that this is on maximum level so that we don't wait for the upgrades. And here, after attempting 
to put it right next to the existing one i will destroy them both and just put them closer to the port they don't have to be as far and there we go i have moved them they're both on production level 4 and that's it we just increased the fuel production so next step even more food so we start by doubling the capacity of the farms here adding some more wagons to the trains you saw me also changing the locomotive i mean it's 2020 uh, sorry 2043 so uh using steam locomotives is probably a bad idea <laughs> a little bit of uh, deliberations here <laughs> what to choose in this case so the first one needs 400 the second one needs 800 because we're going to have four and the third one is going to have six that's 1200 of course the last one is going to have uh, eight which makes it 1600 I also realized that my trains are becoming longer than initially planned so I will join the station uh, with the rest of it and add some signals and here we have the last farm as well as I said this one has to be 1600 And it's 1300. <laughs> I will have to solve that mistake, of course. Adding here the foot plant. things are looking fine but this loading speed bothers me a little bit so as i said i will just fix the stations and add some signals Adjusting the lines a little bit. Apparently, I added too many. Is the rate too much? There will be a few more adjustments here. One of which would be extending the, at least on this side, the capacity of the station. Leading what we already have we can definitely make it a little bit better than that so now i'm going to delete those buildings and add the rail as part of the station so that we can support longer trains here and it's uh, oh, perfectly fine that on the other side 
uh, the station is shorter, but as long as at least one of it is having the capacity necessary. And here I immediately made a mistake and I will have to fix it in a little bit. So now let's see. The idea here is that I don't really want to add a second train because that means more rail and more other things. And 1600 is what we are looking for. However, yeah, this one is too high. 1200 is what we need. And here I realized that I <laughs> built the rail in such a way that I have a steep climb up the hill in the beginning with the full train. That is not recommended. So it has to be done in a flat or even going down rail so that the train does not struggle when it's so full. It's a much better situation to have a train, a full train going down, than trying to climb up the hill. You can imagine why, physics. So try to do that in your own games. And here we are. It's going to reach... 89, 90, 91 kilometers per hour, it's what I saw as the highest speed. And we already have everything working. Here I have some old trains that need to be renovated, upgraded, made faster. And I will need 800 rate for this food delivery to the SEDC. And also this one as well. Should get a faster train. And you will see me trying to do that exactly. Also adjusting the line so that we have only one to bring everything. So I'm adding a few extra wagons of a different type. That definitely solves the problem of the secondary resources that are too low a number for a full train. And next step in the journey is adding a new tools factory here in Boston. You will not see me doing that because I did not record it, but I will make now Atlanta to produce more forest and planks, more logs and planks. But Later, I decided that things are going to go back to what they were for a very long time. Meaning that all the planks and deliveries to Boston for planks would come from, um, from the north plank production. And Atlanta is finally going to deliver to Nashville. I know I didn't want to do that, but it made more sense in the end. Yeah, I took some time building this plank production here, but I will not need it in the end. One thing I noticed now, and I definitely noticed during gameplay, is that I now I'm going to put the forest here, which I should have done in the previous episode, because as you know, one plank requires two logs. And yeah, I will come back and destroy it and then add it again later but not during a recording process and here I realized that my station doesn't have access to this tools factory and I don't really need to do that so yeah delete the factory delete the forest as I said that was a mistake 
I need that forest. And now I will double the production here. And later, as I said in the future, I will delete the line that goes to Washington and I will just deliver everything produced here directly to Boston because we have the consumption there for the tools factory and the other one for the machines. And after adjusting the road here a little bit, deleting this uh, depot and adding it again, this station as well will be redone to look better with upgraded trucks as well and the cranes. Um, it's unfortunate when you have to fight with the game, but it happens. I actually think it looks awesome now with the road there. This is one of the best mods, the building mod. And here we are, everything done. Upgraded as well. Removing the traffic lights, always, don't forget. And a new station on this side as well. And last but not least, doubling the production of logs with this second forest here. Of course, it's absolutely necessary to modernize the trucks. And now we have the plant production set up, with one exception, uh, which I'm going to come back doing later. And as you can see here, I added again the line to Boston that delivered planks for a very long time. And there we go. Time for the last step of this process here, adding the second planks production. And also choosing which of the this one is perfect because we need 400 now and I will need 800 in the future so just having one being 200 rate is amazing and here we have to fix a few problems with Chicago one of the things that I was doing earlier um, apparently destroyed the street there and the connection to the steel mills in Chicago was lost and now that we are in Chicago let's also tower the food production here unfortunately for me the old food plant is built in such a way that prevents me to add his brother <laughs> so I will have to destroy it and then add the second one right next to it And there we have it. We have two food production plants here in Chicago. Doubling the production here. And with the rest of things that I already added, we are going to bring up the food supply to a very, very good percentage. Building a new station here because I decided that it makes more sense for trams. To service this uh, line now that we are going to have double production everywhere
And there we have it. Six drums are perfect for this line. We also, of course, have to double the capacity of the line that brings the food back to the Northeast Distribution Center. And of course, the next few steps would be to increase the farm, the farms here next to Chicago and double the grain production everywhere, including, of course, the capacity of this very, very, very old trains. This one is 182 years old. I decided that it's easier here to just add a few more wagons instead of, you know, buying new trains or doing anything else. It definitely serves its purpose. And there you go. I have all, all changes that were done. You can hear the two food plants in Chicago at almost here as doing all right. New one in Oklahoma is also producing the crude oil. Here is a tax. We have the reef on the other Both of them doing pretty well, including this one oil refinery here. And last but not least is the tools factory here. The transport just needs to be transported. And here is the planks, as I said already. This is where our planks for this tools factory and the machine factory are coming from. And let me show you what I mean. Panama, highest growth factor, 580%. As a, for a small town, it has grown pretty significantly. Uh, Houston getting everything the goods are on their way same goes for New York Boston Oklahoma same goes here goods are on the way Kansas City Bermuda Chicago Nashville the Bahamas Charlotte Tampa Minneapolis, Austin, Nashville, ah, the Bahamas we already did, Pittsburgh, DNC, Atlanta, Miami, Havana, Savannah, Detroit, New Orleans, Bozeman, Denver, Montreal, Toronto. And that's it. Nothing else. All right. Beautiful. I am this. It definitely took up time to get to this point and here is our headquarters let's see how we are doing 12 billion of assets 8.8 .8 billion in money inventory is mostly vehicles a little bit of real estate our profit for the last month 280 million top speed 895 road vehicles 383 road vehicles 158 trams 176 trains 107 Congress Rail 433 400 years old Total trucks 600 Pretty much all of it electrified I'm curious where we have not have it electrified I don't remember doing that High speed 480 of those kilometers Bridges 16 kilometers, tunnels 49 kilometers of tunnels. All right, cargo transported 7 million units, passengers 1.1 million 20,000, 
Wow. 15 types of cargo, almost 300 lines. Amazing, amazing. And here you can see a few more things. 58% delivery of construction material, 27 machines, 60 fuel, 50 tools. And this is going to grow when the tools get delivered. Goods as well are going to grow up for sure. And the food is at 55%. Amazing, amazing. All right, here we are. OCT is having all products. I achieved everything I wanted for this playthrough. So this will be the final episode. Thank you all who shared this experience with me until the end. It definitely took much longer than planned, but many lessons were learned about the game, how to produce the videos themselves. I'm planning to release one more video, but only as a cinematic displaying what has been done during the playthrough. And I will leave you a link with the save file in the description. I'd love to read your suggestions for the next playthroughs or anything that you would like to see me doing. I will also right now leave you with a few videos of vehicles moving around the map. And before I say goodbye, I wish you to stay awesome, stay active. And I hope soon. Bye-bye.